Hello everyone, I pray that you are doing great on today. Thank you so much for sitting down and taking the time out to watch my video. Just sit back and relax as you watch me make two wall sconces from this mat. I will be making these sconces out of Quaker Oaks box and this mat that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. A list of everything will be in the description below. The first thing I'm going to do is cut this box in half. After I have finished cutting it in half, I will trace and cut out two regular boxes which will be the back of my sconces. While I am doing this, I would like to take the time out to welcome my first time viewers to Monica Monet Collection. Please go ahead and subscribe and like, turn your notification bell on and become a part of this family. And to my loving supporters that come back and watch me, I appreciate you from where? The bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for your love and support. Now the powder you see on this board is from the oats that were inside of the box. I am now going to cut the middle of the oak box so that when I glue the mat on top, the LED light will be able to show through it. After I finished spray painting them, I let them sit. It took about 30 minutes for them to dry.
I spray painted this mat in a previous video. Please go over and watch that video just to see how I made a glamorous mirror and vase out of this mat. I am now going to glue my mat on top of both my sconcers. After that, I'm going to glue my beads on top of my mat. I put some scotch tape on the back of my LED light so that it can stick to the back of my sconce. I decided to add more beads to both sides of my sconces. The last thing I'm going to do is glue my beads to the bottom of both of my sconces. In order to hang my sconces, I glued a string of beads to the back of each one of them. After the glue has dried, I am finished with this project. I hope you like the finished look. If you haven't already subscribed, like, and turn your notification bell on, please go ahead and do so right now. Thank you so much for watching.